Matt Jolly, right here on Georgia Radio. Well, it is Wednesday morning. It is straight up 10 o'clock. Matt Jolly, hanging out here with you. Glad to be with you, ladies and gentlemen, for another episode of Neighbor to Neighbor. Yep, that's your cue to start calling in. Uh, you can dial in 678-390-8633. We'll get you right on the air today. Want to uh, want to hear your buy, swap, and sell stuff? What do you have? What do you have you just want to get rid of? You got a mother-in-law laying around the barn or a father-in-law? Whatever it is, call up. I want to turn our attention, though, down south right now to Kingsland, Georgia. Miss Paula is standing by here to talk about the annual Kingsland Catfish Festival going on this weekend. We're going to talk to her. Miss Paula, good morning. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Hey, I, it's it's a pleasure to have you on here. Uh, Georgia Radio, a new broadcast outlet going out all over the state, wanted to tell everybody about the Kingsland Catfish Festival. There's also a race, isn't there, like a, a 5K or something that's there, tied in with this? There are absolutely, actually, there's several events tied into this. Um, this year, we have um, the 5K race uh, that starts now let me look at my list here. Um, we have the 5K race that starts at 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, it's called the Turkey Trot, and it will um, it will start at the Veterans Memorial Park area, and they'll do their 5K, turn around, and come back up. So that's always a, a great – it's a timed race, and it's always a great time for those that like to run. Um, but prior to that, we have our Kingsland Lions Club – pancake breakfast from 7 a.m. until 11 um, and it's five dollars and it's pancakes and sausage and bacon and it's just a great deal and it to um, support a great cause now um, Kingsland is down there by St. Mary's and right down there on the coast a uh, beautiful town about 15,000 people or so right that's correct we are actually um, west of St. Mary's if you get off of Interstate 95 and head west, we're about a mile and a half off of I-95. Well, I've never known anybody that right. was on 95 that didn't want to get off of 95. So that's a good thing, you know, <laughs> <Through that. laughs> especially yes, through especially through. heading up east. But this is I mean, this is a small town festival at, it, at its best. It's going on Saturday. Uh, tell me why catfish. Well, so it's 39 years in the making and the history is it started just as like a little neighborhood um, fried chicken uh, get together in, I think, the side of the churchyard. And it was just a small group that uh, coordinated the event. And as time went on, it became catfish, a catfish festival, fried catfish. Um, and I know my daddy and a lot of his friends think that when you eat catfish, you have to eat the whole catfish with the bone in. So we, we'll have some of that this year, and then we also have, you know, other types of catfish um, food for you to eat. But that's kind of how it started. It started as fried chicken and evolved into catfish, fried catfish. And this is, like I said, the 39th year. Not just any catfish, but uh, <laughs> it's not like, you know, the way you got to really eat it uh, with the tail and the fins and yes. all that stuff. See, yes. If, yes. if it looks like... <laughs> A fish, I, I just don't want to eat it. But but that's the way that this started out. I think that's great. So the tradition continues. Yes. Well, good. They caught them and they fried them, and and thus we have it today. Yes. Are you uh, are you a fan of serving fish that way, or can you not answer uh, that? No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not a fan of serving. Now I will eat catfish nuggets, and I will eat like fish and grits and all that good stuff. But no, not the whole with the bone. I'll pass on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got eyes and fins and yeah. Well, exactly. You, that takes yeah, a special pass. kind of fan of catfish, doesn't it? Well, I think that's it's great. Now, most certain. where where do they catch these fish? Are they locally caught or are they brought in for this big yeah. festival? Well, uh, they're not locally caught. We hope to in years to come to incorporate like a catfish tournament, um, you know, to maybe encourage kids and fathers and sons or just you know, togetherness, um, to go fish and participate in a tournament. But right now they're, they're brought in from, um, local farms, uh, and they're frozen. Um, the food vendors are responsible for 
bringing in their own fish. So that's kind of how it is right now. I see. Well, that's fun, and though. We, I mean, what a great have, time. We, yes, I agree. And we do have a catfish cook-off. So this is the second year of actually um, recruiting teams to participate in a catfish cook-off. And they're allowed to prepare the catfish any way they want, as creative as they want to be. And we'll have judges that will judge each uh, individual um, dish, but then we'll also have people's choice. So anybody that attends the festival can buy a ticket for $5, and they will be able to sample all all of the contestants' um, dishes that they have prepared for this cook-off. So that's exciting. That's something new. Uh, like I said, the second year, and, and so we're excited about that. That's growing every year. It's becoming more and more popular. So, that, you know, just kind of be on the lookout. If you come to the festival, make sure you go to the information tent and buy a ticket to participate in the tasting part of the cook-off, the catfish cook-off. Yeah, I don't want to go all that way and, and not get to taste some of that award-winning catfish. I mean, that's the that's the whole exactly. reason I'm going, you know? <laughs> so, exactly. <laughs> how um, far are you also, from Savannah, just so the folks up north, because they don't know St. Mary's all the time. How far from Savannah? We, well, we're in Kingsland, and it's about an hour and 45, two-hour drive from south of Savannah, Yeah, right down Interstate 95. That's perfect, though. What a fun time. And there's lots of hotels, I'm sure, down there, too. There, We have plenty of places to stay. We have RV parks if you want to come and stay the whole weekend. You know, enjoy. We're a half hour north of Jacksonville, Florida, and a half hour south of Brunswick, Georgia. So you've got the Golden Isles. You've got Jacksonville. You've got Fernandina Beach. You've got Cumberland Island. You can come and stay a whole weekend, and that you'll never run out of something to do. And then the festival is from 10 until 7 on Saturday, and we have two stages. We have a main stage and a second stage, so there will be free entertainment all day long. I think it's going to be a we fun have time. A beer and, right, and we have a beer and wine tent, so you can enjoy some refreshing adult beverages. We have tons of food vendors that will be selling all types of food and beverages. And then, uh, like I said, we have t- over 100 arts and crafts vendors that will be here. My goodness. I mean, that's that's fantastic that you've got all that going on uh, this weekend there in Kingsland, Georgia. By the way, we have uh, listeners from all over the world tuned in this morning. We've got some uh, from Byron and Bonaire and Warner Robbins, but we, we even have some folks over in London listening to us this morning. And that's not oh, wow. that's not London, Georgia. I'm just looking here, uh, uh, way up north. Atlanta's listening in this morning. So lots of folks tuned in this morning from around the state. And this is just a, a small town, you know, festival, and it's just going to be fun. The weather's going to be perfect down there. I mean, y'all are really batting it out of the park. It sure is. Paula, um, tell I me. To mention that. Just real oh, quick, uh, tell tell me what you do down there because for those that don't know, you're part of the uh, the visitors center down there. In Kingsland, so you know all about it, right? I'm actually the downtown manager for the city of Kingsland, but I work very closely with the tourism group. Yes, uh, we uh, we all put our heads together and make this festival the best that it can be. And what about for Christmas? You got anything going on down there for Christmas? I know that's just around the corner, and it's not polite to talk about it just before Thanksgiving, <laughs> but but what, what do y'all have for the horizon <laughs> coming over the hill so here? We, so we have uh, an event called Christmas in Kingsland. It's an event that's held in downtown, again, once, once again. It's a free event. We have cookies and hot cocoa and wassail and Santa, and we have snow in South Georgia. Um, so it's a fun time. It's the, always the second Thursday of December, and this year it falls on December the 9th. Let me back up a little bit so you can mark your calendar from now forward. The Kingsland Catfish Festival is always the Saturday before Thanksgiving. Always. It never, it never in another time. It's just you know right when it's going to be. <laughs> I think exactly. that's great. So it's always the Saturday before Thanksgiving. Well, so that makes it easy. Calendar. 
or next year. Yes. I think that's great. And it's rain or shine, right? Just come on down to Kingsland. Yes. Uh, this it weekend. Sure is. Yes, sir. And you've been you've been doing yes, this sir. since the start of it. Is that what I'm hearing? Uh, I have not. I've only been doing the festival for about five years. But, but you've been I going. I live in downtown. Yes, yes. Yeah. I've been here pretty much every single year. I think that's great. Well, I, I hope that uh, I hope that the food is is just as wonderful as everybody remembers and expects this year, uh, and I'm sure it's going to be. I'm but sure. you can go down there and yes. and see it all. What about hush puppies? Wade wants to know if they have hush puppies. Uh, they do have hush puppies. We'll have grits and hush puppies and coleslaw. I mean, I, I can't say who, but some of the vendors are going to do like a catfish dinner. So, yes, hush puppies will be part of the of the yumminess. <laughs> I think that's great. Well, listen, Paula, thank you so much for uh, for joining us this morning. And uh, anything else you want to add in? I know you're a busy lady. You're running around and, and trying to get everything ready to go for this festival. I do have a couple of other things. Um, we do have a kids' amusement area. So, you know, there's something for the entire family. But this year, um, the Georgia Coastal Railway, their new – Station, Kingsland Station, it's not open yet, but it is being built. So the passenger train will travel three times that day from St. Mary's almost into Kingsland and then back. And they'll have a morning run, a mid-afternoon run, and then one later in the day. So that's something to check out. That is something new coming to Kingsland, probably February of next year. But you can get a sneak peek of the train this weekend because it will be running and uh, it's really, really cool. It's a great experience. And you so just get you on that, that and, and go up the coast. Well, yes, you'll get head, you'll head east for a little while, just for now. This is just a little sneak peek of what's to come. I think that's fantastic. And, you know, what a great thing for, yeah. uh, for the, the tourists and for the, the folks that just want to come down there. I, I've got to ask you this, because everybody that, that comes on this show loves something about their town. What is it that you just absolutely love about Kingsland and you want everybody to know? I just love that we're all like family. It's the small town charm. Um, you know, everybody, if you don't know everybody, you can go to Stephens, which is just a little south. It's a restaurant that's been here forever and ever and ever. And I don't think you ever meet a stranger there. You have the interstate businesses which is great and i love all of them but that small town charm where everybody just feels like they know everybody even if they don't you just get that warm welcome feeling i think that's wonderful well miss paula thank you for coming on today it's it's thank greatly appreciated <laughs> and tell your friends yeah. about about Come georgia on. radio we're trying to do our best to uh, promote small towns in georgia and the rural communities that and uh, just all that they do and i think it's so wonderful you know, it's just not Atlanta, right? And it's not just the exactly. big cities. We gotta we gotta take care of each other. So I'm glad I'm glad That's you're here. Exactly right. Well thank, thank you, you so much. much. All right, Miss Paula. Thank you again. Good and luck. Yes. And y'all join us in South Georgia this weekend. Well, we'll do it. The Kingsland Catfish Festival, everybody, going on uh, this Saturday. Uh it's gonna be a lot of fun. You can find the quick link there uh in our show story uh, about this particular episode. It's gonna be on the podcast. So if you're just tuning in uh, to neighbor to neighbor welcome listen a lot of you are tuned in and i just hope you call in this morning and i'm talking to you so uh please call up this morning and if you just don't have anything to buy swap or sell you can just call up and just say hello this morning but uh, neighbor to neighbor where we just sit down and talk uh here for a few minutes did you hear last night by the way a lot of people tuned in last night uh to the all new georgia folk and farm life show you can actually replay that episode uh, from last night, if you'd like to, you can uh, just replay it right there on the podcast site. Uh, super, super easy to do. And uh, just call on up there and uh, replay it if you want to. And I think you'd be glad you'd be glad to hear it. I mean, it's a good episode. So uh, tune in there and uh, take a listen to that. We have uh, a couple of things that I wanted to cover with you this morning. By the way, if you haven't already done this, please do it. Sign up for the newsletter. It's just right there at georgiaradio.com. You can sign up right there on the newsletter, and it'll take you each and every week uh, into something wonderful. You can uh, read about the Kingsland Catfish Festival. You can read about uh, the Black Smoke Coffee Shop, uh, which has got their their fall festival this weekend. And that is all in support 
as I understand it, of folks that are suffering from PTSD. So if you know somebody that's uh, suffering from PTSD or uh, something to that effect and you you want to you want to help them out up in Griffin, Georgia, they have the Black Smoke Coffee uh, folks are doing this uh, this big, you know, benefit up there for folks that uh, that have PTSD. We never talked about that uh, in the past, but it's something now that is just uh, I'm, I'm glad that it's come out, especially with all of our ties to the military. I'm glad, really glad it's come out. But it's not just folks uh, in the military that are suffering from PTSD. And I think that the uh, the folks there, Black Smoke Coffee, are doing a great job uh, for everyone. And as they like to say, nobody suffers uh, alone. So get out there and enjoy that. The Cozy Country Christmas. That's another festival going on this weekend up in Blairsville, Georgia. They've got a big show, arts and crafts show. And I believe, I just learned about this term the other day. I believe this is a juried show, uh, which means that you have to go through a, a, you know, a certain process to get into the show. So that's how that works. It's a juried show, which means that the stuff you're going to see there, uh, <laughs> it, somebody else had to see it first <laughs> to, to make sure that it was worth putting in the show. So anyhow, uh, don't be alarmed if you don't see grandma's, uh, you know, crocheted Kleenex box holder and all that kind of stuff. But who knows what you're going to see up there at Cozy Country Christmas. Way down south again. If you're going to go to the Kingsland Catfish Festival on Saturday, you could go to Christmas uh, Made in the South going on in Savannah this weekend uh, as well. Now, if you're up uh, mid-state and you're headed to Griffin, how about the Hamlin Hills? Uh, big thing they've got going on, fall festival going on up there in Hamlin Hills. That'd be fun. I'm going to try Wade. We're going to leave uh, Brother Wade a, a call here and just see what he's got going on. I don't know if he's, I don't know if he's up this morning. But we'll see. I kind of doubt it, but we're going to, he's probably down in the woods. He told me to call him this morning. He said, you call me in the morning and see if I can answer. So we'll, we'll, we'll ring him. (laughs) But if you want to call in, you call in too. Dial in 678-390-8633. I don't think brother Wade's here. You there? Yeah, I'm somewhat here. Okay. Well, you told me to call you, so I'm calling you. You're live on yeah, the air. Yeah, I'm broke down. I, I'm at, like yesterday. I'm broke down again, and I'm riding with a friend. No, you're not. Yes, I am. We got. And by the way, I'm on the air right now on the radio. So yeah, don't don't say anything dirty. Yeah, you, don't say anything dirty. We are on live on the radio. Well, I I thought last night was a fun time. It was a good time. Well, that was a good show, wasn't it? It was. It, uh, have you listened? Did you, did you edit the podcast? You I, done in- I I I've re-edited the podcast because okay. oh, you 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 made me uh you know you made me get to work a little bit last night yeah i did we did say some things didn't we it was it was, uh, it was fun show edible it was a great show matt and i uh i enjoyed that that was good we'll have to do that kind of show again yeah but i'll tell you what harvey williams we got to have harvey back on you know everybody loves the harvey williams story. oh yeah we yeah well we harvey was going to come back on anyway what was he going to well, there's no telling. Harvey could talk about pencil erasers, and it'd be exciting. Yeah, well, Harvey's interesting, but he was coming back on to tell us something, and I don't remember what it was, but yeah, <laughs> that'll be great. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Our listening audience is enjoys the fact that I'm getting senile. That's right. And, uh, well, we talked about the Catfish Festival this morning, and Miss Paula called in, and she was telling me that part of the tradition is to serve that catfish with the fins and all that stuff, where it looks, you know, the bones and everything. Sure, sure, sure. What and I knew you'd, I knew you'd like that. I have, if it looks yeah. like a fish, I don't want anything to do with it. Oh, so it's look. When I get through with it, you know the old Sylvester cartoons where he'd be digging through the trash <laughs> and he'd come up with the, the fish skeleton <laughs> that was fish uh, clean. That's what it looks like yeah. when I get through eating uh-huh. fish. And I a fillets. Big boys like us, we don't put fillets. We we want to pick our own fish. You want to pick your own fish? Well, yeah, I guess we so. Pick. But I just, yeah. oh, golly, I don't know. Yeah. But she said that they have stuff for for other folks like me that don't like it to look like fish. They have fish nuggets. They have fish nuggets. And <laughs> they have. They might even have chicken fingers for you that you're from Texas <laughs> at the catfish festival. Listen, I ate more fish than most people growing up because <laughs> Daddy was a fishing guide. You know, we had a charter right. service, so we ate a lot of fish, right. but. Uh, yeah, and some of those fish that we ate would, would eat you if you weren't careful. You know what I'm talking about? You, you never oh, hear yeah. about a bass eating anybody, maybe a big catfish. Not, but a big catfish, yeah. Yeah. 
We all saw that movie. Well, that's always fun, though. The Catfish Festival this weekend, and they've been doing it a long time down there in Kingsland, Georgia. That's Kingsland, right. Yeah. That's right beside the nuclear sub base. We heard, uh, we heard about it, and I wanted to have them on. I just thought that was so much fun. There's also a, there's a wildlife arts festival, and how in the world Harvey Williams is not in that, I don't know. But we got to get Harvey yeah, in that. It's, too, it's probably too late for him to enter this year. It is, and it's in Thomasville. Uh, also right. down there in South great, Georgia. And a great location. I love Thomasville. They've got, uh, that's a scenic area. It is. It's beautiful. Old plant, uh, quail plantations and big pine trees, and it's just a beautiful place. Well, I, I'm I'm excited about that because I think Harvey would do wonderful out there. So what's wrong with your truck this morning? We've we've all been following this like a like a cheap soap opera. What yeah, is, it's a, it, it's been a, it's an ongoing saga for two days. The uh, water temperature, water level sensor, is defective and uh so it's uh it's in the shop and uh, a great friend from garfield is uh taking me home we're yeah. in transit right now you didn't have to hike your pant leg up did you no i didn't uh well i did it for wendell he likes that kind of thing anyway so i did hike my britches leg for him yeah even show though him it wasn't a little boot, he right? was gonna pick me up anyway i didn't have to show him any <laughs> skin to get a ride i just because he likes it well, I think that's great. It's, Wendell's face is red right now. Now they have to walk the rest of the way home. That's man. all right. You can you can do it as long as it gets you to yeah. the Dollar General. You'll be fine yeah, the rest of the, the way. Dollar General, I'll be good. That's right. Well, I think it's going to be fun, Wade. And I listen. We we've had uh, a lot of people listening this morning. Nobody's called in. I don't know why they're not calling in, but I'm looking. I'm going to start naming names if I could find them. Well, but well, uh, they're well, supposed to tune in show next next Tuesday night. And it's like you said, a pre Thanksgiving. Yeah, we're so going to have a gonna, Thanksgiving show. Schedule, I am going to schedule some callers. How many do we need? Six, eight, how many? <laughs> if we're going to round them up. I don't know who I that was. I have that, a caller roundup. That was funny last night. I don't that know who that was. I, I, it I had don't to, either. But somebody called in last night, and they told us, uh, they said they had a step cousin that had some step-ins. <laughs> <laughs> and they never washed them. And by the time they they stepped out of them, they stood up by themselves. So, yes. yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, we had a we had some we had a live one last night on the show, yeah. but uh, fun stuff. Yeah. Well, how many how many callers do I need to uh, pre schedule? Well, I don't know. I mean, day? you Six need right? you need to ring Miss Faye, and she'll have some friends. Yeah, we'll call have Faye for certain. Yeah, but yeah. we want to have a Thanksgiving uh, a Thanksgiving call in show where you can call up. And uh, just talk about Thanksgiving traditions and what what you and your family like to do uh, for Thanksgiving, and it'll be a fun time. And we'll get everybody on this morning. Everybody's doing right. housework right now. I, I hey, just I'm got gonna a have to let, Hey, I, I'm going to let you go because I'm fixing to be in a poor service area, and I'd you rather have fun. just go ahead and let. God bless. Enjoy later. Bye. <laughs> Take care, Wade. But no, we would like you to call in uh, with with these traditions and uh, and get you on the air. And we just love to have you call in. But a lot of you, two of you wrote in this morning. You said, I was going to call you, but I'm doing housework. And I've got, I've got the phone playing through the smart speaker. And so I can't call in, but I'm listening. Well, thank you to, uh, to Mary who wrote in uh, and said that. And I can't, read, I can't read the other name. Anyhow, the screen disappeared. That's going to wrap it up. If you want to call in, I'll, I'll tell you what. We're going to leave the phone open here for just another minute while I tell you. Uh, coming up later today. This is going to be fun. We've got all of your requests, and I had a stack of them here. Let me see here. I've got one, two. My goodness. I had to print them all last night. There's a bunch of requests coming up here, and I'm going to get to them all. Every one of them that came in, I'm going to get to it. If you want to call in, though, next week, please do so, 678-390-8633. That's the number to get you right on the air with buy, swap, and sell. People tried to call in last week, and we ran out of time. (laughs) <laughs> now this week everybody is going to be shy they've already sold all their potatoes they've already they've already given away all the junk well we'll do it again next week not to worry till we get the hang of this we're just having a good time hanging out neighbor to neighbor right here on georgiaradio.com now i'm gonna i'm gonna go step out of the studio here for a few minutes i'm gonna retool and then i'm gonna start playing your request and your dedications all the way till two o'clock today so hang out have some fun go refill your coffee cups and then we'll meet right back here uh, right after the news. We'll meet right back here at 11 o'clock, and we'll start playing all those requests and those dedications. going to be a good time. Want to want to get them all in. So if you've got them, send them on over. Birthdays and anniversaries, too. Love having you here. 
even if you don't call in. Still love having you here. We'll do it next week. I'm Matt Jolly. That is Neighbor to Neighbor. Sign up for the newsletter. Check out HistoryWorthSaving.com if you want to hear a little bit more and some interesting stuff from all over the country. Till 11 o'clock. Thanks for being here. So long for now, everybody. Georgia Radio. Good company and great country. Yeah.